Martin Brundle wants unusual F1 rule change as pundit reacts to new Aston Martin car. Sky Sports pundit and co-commentator Martin Brundle has suggested that F1 teams should be given a weight allowance to allow for fully painted cars. His comment was made after the launch of Aston Martin's 2024 Challenger, the AMR24, with the former Benetton and McLaren driver left frustrated by a string of carbon fibre dominated liveries. In a sport where engineers work tirelessly to gain every thousandth of a second in speed available, teams have recently started to put together liveries without a full paint job in an effort to save weight, instead leaving carbon fibre on show and painting around it. This has been an extremely prominent issue with some of the 2024 livery reveals with Alpine and the Stake F1 team unveiling cars with large portions of the bodywork being exposed carbon fibre. This trend has not been well received by fans, many of whom are becoming frustrated with the lack of colourful designs on the grid. Taking to the ex-social media platform to offer his thoughts on the new livery, Brundle said, The Aston looking classy. Teams should be rewarded with a weight allowance for more complete liveries which will stand out on track for spectators and viewers. Some of them look glum and half-finished. Brundle's positivity towards the Silverstone-based team's livery was met with an optimistic attitude ahead of the 2024 campaign from drivers Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll. Stating his excitement to get behind the wheel of the team's new challenger, Alonso said, The whole team has worked flat out on getting the AMR24 ready for the new season, but there are so many questions to answer in testing and the first few races. I am excited to get in the cockpit and start my second season in green. Aston Martin started last season off in style with Alonso, securing six podium finishes in the first eight Grand Prix of the year. However, the team struggled to keep pace with their rivals in the development race and dropped from second place in the Constructors' Championship to fifth when the chequered flag dropped in Abu Dhabi.